defensive zone win. Laid on to Datsuk. Let's it go. He scores! A great goal for the Russians. Well, the element of surprise with the wrist shot. Get the goaltender in between. It's not how hard you shoot it, it's how quick you release it. And that was a quick release. I think if the goaltender's a little more patient here, Eddie, stays up on his feet, he's going to be able to make the save. But when he drops into the butterfly, that opens up that top glove hole. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. That one is pointed to him. Oh, what a save. He brought his best shot, and it got stopped. Look at how active the goaltender is looking around the screen to try to make the stop. Whistle blown, play stopped. The referee will hand out a penalty. The Canadians are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. Propelled to Shepard. Fires. Scrivens decided to cover. Voinos, not one of those guys you expect to give a big, heavy hit, but when you slow it down, you really see the force and the impact. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over it. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Flings it. Marvelous. Brilliant acrobatic save. He covers and holds on. Ten seconds to go, and he gets it back. I'd be shocked if they don't score. Again to the corner. Oh, what a stop. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. And this period is over. Wow. With hot food and ice-cold beverages, now's your chance to join us at one of our many concession stands located throughout the stadium. Team Russia's one-goal lead came on this play. We want to show it to you one more time as we go to break. That's a good solid hit. He'll feel that one. The coaches talked about those type of plays. Nicely into the zone. Let's it go. Score! A brilliant goal for Team Russia. Goal scorer put that puck in a shooting position, let it go and beat the goaltender clean. A lot of times the goaltender feels like his positioning is perfect and he's got the net covered. Guess what? He doesn't. Russia's built a 3 to nothing lead in this game and they've had the puck almost the entire time. The Canadians with a win at center. Team Russia's lugging it along the side. Shoots! Score! He's got his second! You want to score goals, you've got to get to this area of the ice. It looks to me sometimes as the goaltender's guessing a bit, and when he guesses, he drops into the default butterfly position to see if he can cover enough net. The Russians have scored yet again, and their lead gets bigger. They are doing very well on the shot board, too. They've won the faceoff. The Russians are having one of those nights where everything goes their way. You never want these to end because they don't happen that frequently. The Russians have stayed on the body throughout this contest. As a result, they're starting to slow down the opposition, and they've increased their lead. Good job with the poke check. Shoot, save. Nice play by the goaltender to freeze it up and get a whistle. Scrivens has to follow the puck here. His team gets caught a man coming down the ice, but he makes the save.
Katulis had no way to avoid this huge collision. Quick work on the faceoff. Great stick there. A wonderful shot answered quickly. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you got to find a way to put the puck in the net. This is overwhelming. Still no shot. He scores! A phenomenal goal for Canada. Bruins' wrist shot was heavy and quick. Costi's not able to cover up for the open net here. The shooter's got enough room, Edzo, to dive into the net himself. They've got the draw. Seven showing on the clock. Terrific shot. Three seconds. The period comes to a close. Wow, what a finish. Hey, fans, we'd like to draw your attention to the far part of the arena where we're welcoming all of our minor hockey kids here in attendance tonight. Team Russia's lineup could be shaken up. We're not sure right now. There was an injury on this play. Will this guy return, and will he be okay? We'll find out, but first... Clean win on the draw. Solid job of holding the pressure on. And so now a penalty will be handed out. Russia's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. Oh, this is not a good penalty. A lazy penalty behind the play, reaching in, turning the stick over, and hooking the player. So now the players coming off the ice are frustrated. The coaches are frustrated. Terrific glove save! A shot. Terrific save. Terrific opportunity. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. The Canadians lose one guy off their roster for this one. It's a game misconduct. Circles on back with it. It was defense, now it's offense. Let's see. Breakaway! Terrific glove save, but it's loose. That one counts. He put it in himself. The look on his coach's face was priceless. He had to be the most surprised guy in the building. His player just turned around and fired this into his own net. I don't think... This is going to be a happy coach when the player gets back to the bench. Team Russia's gotten a huge goal. Now a little breathing room in the third period. The advantage is two, but the adrenaline will probably start to flow from the other side. A shot didn't get through. The goalie gets to the bench. Still, there's time on this delayed call. Wrist shot. Save. The Canadians can thank their goaltender for even being in the ball game. They've been way out of it so far. Oda is going to the box, and the call is tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. The player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. Big hit. Possession gone. Terrific shot, but a denial. Laid on to Raymond. Rushes, setting it up as they move through center. Net empty. Score! There's no doubt who'll win this game tonight after that empty netter. That's going to be too much for them to come back from. That empty netter will seal the deal. Let's check in at ice level with Ray. 
Word from the home team's locker room is they're going to be short a player for the rest of the night. The injury occurred a while ago. He will not return. Terrific charging down the ice. He won the race. Play continues. Good shooting plays. That one's deflected. And that's the horn. That's the hockey game. The game is ended. The Canadians were outshot, outscored, and finally they get a rest because the game's over. That's what you talked about being outed. No chance here tonight. So that is it for this one. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good night all.